uh, my name is uh, Mohammed Ramzan. I work for CBA. I've been uh, with CBA for the last uh, 16 years. I work for the uh, Trade Services Department and all along I have been with the Trade Services Department. What I do is uh, I facilitate payment between the importers and exporters, um, making the payments and also uh, the transfer of their goods from one destination, one part of the world to the other. I'm married, I have two kids, um, apparently both of them happen to be twins. They are 16 years of age, uh, that's a girl and a boy. Uh, currently they are in school and they are studying at um, Visionary Academy, which is in South Sea, and both of them are in Form 2 at the moment. Well, I grew up in Nairobi. I've uh, studied and I've been brought up in Nairobi. Uh, my family too. Uh, my dad has a, bi a bit of a background from Mombasa, but my mom is uh, apparently from Nairobi. And uh, we have been brought up in uh, Nairobi unlike other people. Uh, my family life has been good. We, we tend, we, we're not a big family, we're just uh, four of us. Myself, my sister, my mom and my dad. We had a CSR project a couple of years ago in CBA. We were supporting one of the homes in Nairobi, a children's home. And uh, I just thought of if I could make the food stuff, bring it to work, sell it, whatever proceeds we get, we help the needy kids. And that's exactly what happened. And from there now I started seeing that there is a passion within myself of catering and venturing into the food business, which I did. And from that time up to you, this moment, I make the food, that's the biryani, biryani and uh, bring it to work like every month. And I sell it to my colleagues. Of course, always ask for a feedback, be it positive or negative, and then I improve on that every other next order. Linking what I'm doing at work and the food business for starts. It's uh, the passion that I saw within myself. It's the drive that I have within myself. That's the, I, how do I say, it, the interest grew, especially after we did the CSR. Actually, the CSR was uh, a project that the marketing team came up with and um, they had to support this home for the needy kids. Every department had to come up with something to do with so that they could raise the funds and give these kids some financial support. So when it came to our department, I thought of making the biryani, while others were selling t-shirts, caps, they were doing the cakes, the pastries, and etc. cetera. Um, others were even doing uh, a polishing shoes every Friday at, at work. So it's just a different idea from different uh, people, from different uh, specs of life. And um, when I started, when I brought this business, when I brought the food actually at work, I saw there was, it was something unique because you don't actually get this on the menu at every other hotel. And um, there was a lot of interest that was shown by the colleagues and they kept on encouraging me and they told me that you, do, you don't need to stop here, you need to move forward and why don't you do this, get it to us at work. We'll support you and we'll buy it. And then also from the family that um, we normally have this, uh, my mom, my mom is a good cook, so is my wife. So every other weekend we have different dishes at home. So from there the, the interest grew. And I said, why not? If they can do it, why can't I? So I decided to do this on my own. Well, of course, there's a lot of support from home because they are the ones who make it, but I'm the one who delivers and brings it to work but, and collects the money. But of course, at the end, they, are the, they, are my, they inspire me. They did inspire me and they also encouraged me to move forward with this, uh, this biryani business. Uh, currently it's doing very well. Um, I used to do it once a month um, with the support and uh, feedback I've gotten from the colleagues. They want me to do it twice a month, which probably I'll start from uh, next month. So every, every twice a month, I'll be having the, the biryani available at uh, CBA. My dad is, uh, is a very calm and composed person. And he took, kept on telling me that don't worry about the orders. As long as you satisfy the customers, whoever they may be, definitely they are your colleagues. But as long as you put a smile on their face and they're satisfied with their food, go, go for it. The quantities are good. The price is extremely reasonable compared to the market. And he just kept, keeps on telling me that you need to keep on growing your numbers, but you have to be steady. 
you don't just jump from a number of 50 today and then you target for another 80. Even a number of five and they grow, it's, 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 it's good. I have one who is a very close friend of mine. He plays with me. Uh, he's called Inzajit Singh Mataru. In short, we call him Kuli because he's always very cool. Uh, he's an ex-Olympian, he's play, played for Kenya. Uh, currently, we still play with him and he inspires me a lot on and off the field because he's always so cool that even during a field game, uh, a normal league game, if he gets hit, I think I'm the one who feels the, the pinch. Um, we are too close and he has really inspired me over, over, over a period of uh, time in terms of how I'm supposed to play uh, what lessons has he taught me? He has taught me a lot of lessons. It's always good to compose yourself when you're playing hockey because when you lose your temper, you lose your game. So he's a very composed guy, so I try to follow his footsteps. Working in the banking industry, it's full of risk. If you don't take a risk, you will not succeed in life. That's what I believe. So with my knowledge in banking, with my experience in banking, I thought of taking this risk. I didn't know it's going to go, it's going to grow so fast. I didn't know whether I'll get the numbers, but from what I'm doing, I've taken a risk. The numbers have grown. Um, people like the food. And I think if you have that little, if you're interested in something, if something interests you, it's always good to take a risk. If you feel you can do a car wash business, try it, go for it. Go with one car, definitely you'll get five more to come. I think I would ask people to, to live up to their dreams. If there's anything that you want to do in life, let nothing stop you. The means are always there. It's you yourself. How do you carry yourself? Do you want to pull your strings back or do you want to move your footsteps forward? The best thing is take a risk, move forward, see what is there for you in future and I'm sure there will be something bright for everyone. We just hold ourselves back, but I think when you move forward, it opens doors for you, it opens broad in your mind, and you move forward.